So for, for many years, people have talked about there being a, a, a Doge to Ethereum bridge. What, what ended up happening is Vitalik and others actually funded a bounty program. I think Vitalik and a few others through what ended up being, because the Ethereum price run up, about $100,000 or so um, in bounty just to create a working prototype of the Doge Ether bridge, right? So that, and that, that, that obviously fueled a whole bunch of excitement because developers were like, hey, there's 100K on the table. Hell, I'm going to do this. So a bunch of people spun up different projects to try and do it. And essentially what it would be is a bridge where you can um, send your Dogecoin over to Ethereum and then it exists on the Ethereum network and send it back and vice versa, right? So Dogecoin exists in two places instead of one. And, you know, the, the, the reason that I don't really see a point in this um, is because it would exist as essentially an ERC-20 token on the Ethereum blockchain that you would be able to push Doge into and out of. There's so much overhead to do this work, but Ethereum as a network actually has higher transaction fees than Dogecoin. So like, what's the, what's the point um, of doing this? Dogecoin has a 60 second block time, like near zero transaction fees. What's the benefit that users of that cryptocurrency get out of switching it over to the Ethereum blockchain, very little. And so for me, the way I kind of adjudicate or assess these things is I say, well, what's the benefit to end users? How would this help cryptocurrency get mainstream adoption or actual real world usage? And I don't think it would. I think it's a cool pet project. I think it's a cool hackathon idea. But um, a lot of people, you know, I think because they were they they had a whole bag of Dogecoin, they were hoping it would pump the price. We're like, Ethereum bridge, Ethereum bridge. And what's you know, that, that's crazy. Um, it's like I said, it's a hackathon idea. It's not actually something that I don't think people would really use on the regular.